Our recipe involves just five ingredients plus water. And here we go. You guys are super excited, aren't you? Our resident chef's back in the kitchen. The real. For, <laughs> I get to how use are we going to mess knife. this one up? Well, today we are making pickled onions, and I've got two taste testers over here who aren't so sure about the word pickled. I don't really know how to Maybe cut we're going to show you that it's better than you expect. Andy's already starting with the onion. You told me it might take a while, right? And so while he's cutting, let's take a look at what the ingredients are going to be that you're going to need today. One red onion, as Andy is working on already. Right? I think also so, yeah. going to need Get one tablespoon back, yeah. of sugar, two tablespoons of salt, yeah. a half a cup of red wine vinegar, so half yeah. to a three <laughs> quarters a cup of cold water, like and some too. hot sauce. It's All like right, guys. Games with time to heads. get going. Now, wait, don't do that yet. Uh, Hold on. We have to cut. No, you, that's good. Stop right where you are. Okay. And <laughs> or like five year olds. Now <laughs> don't move. Now you need to cut that onion into cut it long ways into strips. Nope, the other way. It's Just round. be careful not to cut your turn it up on end. Oh First we have 101 of how to cut an onion into strips. I've never cut an onion. But but don't cut your fingers Still because like it could. So Matt, while he's doing that, go ahead and take those strips of onion and just stick them into this mason jar. And then you can so this is a very simple recipe you're going to discover. It actually just takes a few minutes to assemble, and then you're going to put it into the refrigerator for just at least one night before it's ready for you to consume. Where's the deep fryer? we got to make them tasty, right? For those of us who are looking for something healthy, deep fryer is probably not going to go on uh, Onions are pretty right, healthy. Matt, you're is doing right? such a good, Matt Thank is you. such a good you, onion dismantler. Is the middle good to eat or no? It's like yellow. Um, yeah, that's a question I don't have an answer for. Is that for. enough? Or well, you can never have too many pickled onions. That'll right? be it. So that's the first step. Cut the onion into strips that was easy. and put it in the jar. All right. Very next step is to add in the salt and the sugar. So we have, we're actually using Himalayan salt today. That's oh, why it's wow. pink. Himalayan. So we need two tablespoons of the salt. And P. Allen Smith requests so like one kosher. tablespoon. Yeah, we're working off of. Uh, not so accurate measures today, but you know that's that's how we're we're normally work. very precise around here. <laughs> yes. So two, two tablespoons of, of the salt. All right. Next, we need one tablespoon of sugar. Can do that. What do you think, Andy? They smell okay by themselves, but by I don't like texture of the onion. Just one of the sugar. Just one of the sugar. Sorry, I'm yep. Distracting. Okay, so we're done with all the dry ingredients. See how quick and simple this is? See, guys, this is great so far. Yeah, so far, this is great. It's going so far, great. This is great. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Next, we have the red wine vinegar. We got half a cup of red wine vinegar. Go ahead and pour That's that homemade, in. That's homemade, right? That is. We are using homemade red wine vinegar. That's not a requirement. That just happens to be what we have. Um, vinegar, of course, is a key element in any sort of pickling. And then we need to add in about a half to three quarters of a cup of water. We just want to. Why don't you just get that so that that mason jar is about halfway full with the water? How long does it take to pickle? Is that like a week process? Well, you know, it is an ongoing process. So the longer that you uh, wait, the more intensity you're going to have. But also, you're going to lose crispiness with your onions. So this is the kind of thing that you can enjoy early on, crispy, and then later on, you can enjoy them on your sandwiches because they'll be a little bit more limp. Yes, the final ingredient oh. is hot sauce. E easy on the hot sauce. P. Allen Smith recommends three or four drops. Oops. Um, <laughs> Five Kelly, or six will do. Kelly, our traffic manager, did this and actually What's used hot sauce, and she used more, and it turned out really well for her. And so we had to trust Kelly. Well, all right, Andy, I'm, you I'm can not going to eat it. I'm going to have okay. like a little. Okay, final bite, thing, so just put it. the lid on it. And shake it. You can shake it a little bit. Yeah. Hot sauce is sitting on that top onion. <laughs> you can shake it, Andy. Thank you. So look, you get to use the big knife. You get, get to use hot it. sauce. And. Uh, Sugar and salt, very simple. It's going to be perfect, right, guys? All on board with the ingredients. Now we're just nervous to try it. Okay, so that was that's the one that we made today. This is the one that we made yesterday. Take a look at what what has happened uh, since it just sat for one night. Look at how beautiful that color Take is. A look, Andy. Just get, prepare yourself. That's a, that's a precursor to let you know how incredibly tasty it's going to be. So we got some forks over there. Can I use the knife? Pickled onions. Uh, <laughs> I better not. Pickled onions. Here we go. Oh, man. All right. Try it, Matt. <laughs> Come on, Andy. You can do it. Ugh. Hey, I am impressed with you. 
because you ate the whole onion. So I don't have to. You know what? You know, I've been on here a lot saying that I'm not sure if I'm going to like something. Ah. And I actually really think this is good, Andy. No, it's not. Yeah, no, I promise. I told you I like onions, though. I don't like onions. It has a very strong aroma, which might turn some off. But honestly, it's, not bad. it's pretty good. Well, you heard that straight from both of them directly. I'll be honest, we, oh. we walked into this segment today, and both guys are like, mm, I'm just not, not sure about this. Okay. The vinegar is... Like, yeah, it's, it's almost like a Permani Brothers coleslaw. Yeah, it's strong. Which is strange. Yeah. All right, there but you got it. Pickled onions from P. Allen Smith's recipe.